actually took a lot of morning classes. So I'd wake up, I'd like, you know, brush my teeth, shower, whatever I need to do. And I'd pretty much go off directly to class because I'll usually wake up like 20 minutes before. Go to class for like two hours or so. And hang out with my friends. Oh, hey! Hey, how's it going? Uh, so, Columbia University. Yeah, welcome, welcome. It's beautiful. Yeah. I go to the University of British Columbia, so I think I'll fit in just fine. So today, Heyun is going to take me through a day in her life as a... Columbia Mechanical Engineering Senior. I'm so excited. All right, let's go. It's, a, it's this building right here. So. so this whole building is all for engineers, right? Mm-hmm. And this is where you spend most of your day? Most of my time. People, some people sleep in here. Like our mech -E lab has like a separate room on the side where some really dedicated kids just put out air mattresses oh, and sleep. No. I know, it smells so bad. Okay, let's go. Take a look. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, I love how much stuff is going on in here. Yeah. We got robotic arms over there. That is a wind tunnel. So that's a lathe, and this is a mill. This is an Instron testing thing, so you can test the strength of your materials. That is the laser cutting station back there. So all these you can use like anytime you want? Mm, pretty much. <laughs> How much time do you spend in this lab usually? Probably like 10 hours a week. Yeah. That's a decent yeah. amount. Yeah. It's a decent amount. So what are you doing? Previous in years India? I would spend like 40. Uh, you 40? Yeah. Yeah. It's 40 hours. Because I was one of the people who like helped take care of this place. Okay. So like what are you doing here usually? Uh, you're making whatever project you're working on. So want to look at my project? Yes. So yeah, this is my plane. It fully works. We have these like these things on it because with actual blades on, it could cut people. This actually flies. Yeah, this has a control in it. Three gyroscopes, three accelerometers that tell you how it's rotating, tilting, or how fast it's going in any direction. Oh, we should inaugurate you later. Full-time Apple University student. Oh my student. gosh, I'm transferring. <laughs> Can you just take me through like a typical day in your life? Yeah, I actually took a lot of morning classes so I and then come to this lab. This lab was a maker space. Mm, so this is the maker space. This is the maker space. Oh. This is where a lot of people spend way wow. too much time making things. Okay, so show me around. What is, what yeah. is everything? So that's a three axis mill. These are 3D printers you can use to make almost anything you want out of plastic. Everything is free. Whenever you work on a project, you like expect things to take like two hours or something or whatever, but I'll usually end up spending like six hours in there. Usually I won't eat from like morning to like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Basically like most of your day you're spending in the lab, right? Yeah. Do you like study? Do you have homework? So a lot of the requirements have problem sets. I'll spend like 10 hours working on a problem set a week. If you pay attention in class, it's not hard. Later on, you get a bunch of project-based classes like making a 3D printer print food. Like hours and hours in here. Do you say you have a good school life, work life balance? Not before. Now I do because I have all my requirements set up, but before I was taking like five or six classes a semester and I didn't do much else other than school work. This is Hopper heaven. skateboards man. in here. I love this. It's very hands-on. Very hands-on. Very hands-on. And um, I think that's like the best way to learn. Absolutely. Okay, mm. whatever. I'm hungry. Let's go yeah, eat. Yeah, let's go eat. <laughs> okay, so we just spent like hours in the maker's studio <laughs> and the lab. But now we're going to... Hello! Yeah. The best food on campus. Okay, okay. So um, this is like what students usually eat. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much what I've survived off of. 
at my time at Columbia. It's always there for you. It's open until like 4 a.m. Oh, so no it way. actually is always there for you. That's awesome. I'm so excited. So what I like is chicken over rice. Uh, you guys can get lamb over rice or a combo plate. A combo plate's six bucks though. Can we get two chicken over rice and one lamb over rice? <laughs> Whenever I have guests come over, I always take them to halal because customer service is A plus here. So it's gonna be 15 bucks total. Like 15 bucks is like one meal for us. <laughs> I know. Extra white. Whoa. You know it. Well, I don't want extra white. Okay. As promised, I will get you this meal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go. Yeah, Bye. I'm so hungry. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. The special technique. <laughs> Sophomore winter, I think, I got really deep into a project, and I would just leave the the lab just to get like three of these. Whoa. <laughs> Can we join you guys for a game? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, this is the entrance. for the first time since he got here. Mm, yeah. Really? Yeah. Man. Such a relief to actually watch him eat. Can you explain what you do? I foster dogs with a group called Ready for Rescue. It partners with animal care centers of New York to kind of rescue kind of these troubled dogs. Like this dog in particular is blind. I mean, I didn't think I'd end up fostering dogs in New York City, but I initially had an emotional support cat, which was what allowed me to have animals in the dorms here. We were looking to get an appointment as soon as possible. Yeah. So we're trying to get him to a vet as soon as possible because like the eye infection and all that, we, if he does need to get his eyeballs taken out, we want it to be done. We want it to be done as soon as possible so that he can heal faster and then get adopted faster. Actually, it's kind of time for his eye drops. Oh, no, no oh, puppy. He's still, you know, he's still a dog, and he's still living, he's, he's still like a waggy boy, like he has a lot of fun. So I just hope someone's gonna rescue him soon. My name is Philip DeFranco. And, sorry. Hey, y'all. Thank you for showing me the day in the life of a Columbia student. We learned, <laughs> we created, and we played. And that is actually what we do in Hafu University, too. So today, I would like to officially <coughs> admit you to Hafu University. <laughs> You're welcome. Ooh. Oh, thank you. All right. I will definitely have more of these videos coming in the future, so please stay tuned. If you're a college student, or you want to be a college student, like and subscribe below. You know you want more of this content. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. Have a good night. See you next time. Ring the bell. Like and subscribe. <laughs>